the God delusion. I want to talk about this. I believe it's a book by, uh, what's the guy's name that died? Um, I'm blanking out. It's either a book by, um, uh, that guy used to do a lot of stuff on, on um, space programs or, or space and all that stuff and, you know, scientists. Richard, was it Richard Dawkins? Yeah, I think maybe Richard Dawkins did The God Delusion or maybe that was Sam Harris. I think I get that book sometime. I got some books back there, you know. I don't always agree with the books that I read. But uh, I got to get that book, you know, maybe sometime. The God Delusion or you know, someone some by Sam Harris was supposed to be particularly good. And, um, you know, um, <clears throat> the, I mean, you know, the fact that, you know, atheists and even Christians or if they're being Buddhists or Muslims, you know, are basically, you know, those videos I've seen are basically between atheists and, and, and Christians. The fact that they think there's nothing better, the fact that they're, they're really... The fact that they, they sit there and argue all the time shows to you, I hope, you know, I don't know, shows to me anyway, that they're wrong. They got to be wrong. You know, anybody that sits there and their desire is to quibble all day and they want to show you God's way, um, you, you might well think about it, but you know, they got to be wrong. <laughs> They just got to be wrong. It's not, especially from a Christian perspective, it's not a Christian's perspective. It's not a Christian's job. In fact, exactly the opposite, to quibble. And you may make a comment, but if you go back and forth and back and forth and, and you know, well, you, what you don't understand is, and you treat the other guy like they're ignorant, that's really not a Christian principle. So, um, but the God delusion, that's part of it right there. People are deluded that they know God and that they know what he's like. And in matter of fact, there are, there are people that do, but most people don't know God or who, who he is or what he's like. Um, <clears throat> and people think that they read the scriptures and I believe it was, oh, I don't know it was Jesus, but I'm trying, I believe he, I believe Jesus said, you know, and this is, and this is salvation or this is life or something like that. I have to, you know, I have to think, think about that again. This is salvation, this is life. Um, I believe he said, this is life that they know you, the one and only God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So he did say, you know, for people who, you know, say, well, you know, Jesus never said he was the Christ. And Christ means the same as Messiah. Um, this is life that they may know you, or, you know, salvation or something. This is This is life that they may know you, and know Jesus, and know your son, and know your son Jesus Christ. And you know, I know your your son. What I, I have the quote right? This is life that they may know you, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And it's always a character issue when people make Jesus Christ out to be some kind of ascedence or um, you know some type of um, a thing that he's not some issue if Jesus Christ is an issue he's an issue with me that's why I do these videos um, that I promote Jesus Christ and not 
quibble about scripture. Jesus said to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, and I guess the Sadducees that were around, he said, um, you diligently search the scriptures because you think that, that in them you will find life. But you fail to come to me to have that life. The scriptures, those scriptures tell you about me, but you fail to come to me that you might have life. So when somebody says God is in the scriptures, they don't know what they're talking about. When someone says the scriptures are written about God, they know what they're talking about. They do know what they're talking about. And for those who can accept it, for those who, for those who say the scriptures are, uh, as it says in first, I think it's First Timothy, three sixteen or Second Timothy three sixteen. I think it's, I think it's First Timothy three sixteen. All scripture is God breathed, and is useful for teaching, or rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So it comes from God. So if you meet, you can meet those kind of characteristics, you know that somebody knows a little bit of what they're talking about and that they don't quibble on the internet. Um, contention is not Jesus Christ. It's not a part of Jesus Christ. And those who are part of Jesus Christ don't participate in contention. That is why I have problems with people such as Joke Up. Um... What's really amazing, and what God said, hey, if you're going to boast, if you're going to boast, this is what you should boast about. Um, you, God said, let him boast that he knows me. If you're going to boast, he says, let the person that's going to boast, let him boast in that, that he knows me. Not that he knows the scriptures. Jesus said, you diligently search the scriptures because you think in them you'll have life. Uh, those scriptures, those very scriptures speak about me, but you do not come to me so that you may have life. They rejected Jesus because they didn't know what God was saying. It's one thing to be able to memorize scripture and to put your own twisted version on it, which is what you learn in seminaries. Learn in semin I, mean, I, took, I took a Christianity class, Christianity was 101 at uh, a state university in this state. In the United States, if if, so, if somebody can't tell from my accent that I'm from the United States, um, and you know, the teacher, I mean, it's, people say, you know, think, well, I want a rejected education, I don't want a Christian education. Well, granted, what is called Christian by the today's standards is often uh, inobjective, and People that don't understand a concept can claim in ob in objectivity, such as such as such as uh, evolution. Uh, I guess atheism can't be proven, but um, evolution. Some would say, well, um, if you think evolution is right, then you're not being objective. Or someone may say, if you think evolution is wrong, then you're not being objective. So, um, but. Um, so there, just because something is objective doesn't mean it's perceived as objective. And there's a question of how do you perceive objectivity? That's my mother's painting right there. Isn't that beautiful? She's a, she's a pretty good artist. I don't know how well you can see that. But, um, that's her. Jack in the pulpit. Um, so flower. But um, people are deluded into thinking that they know God. It goes beyond what is standardly considered morality, past that. It's why we believe in Jesus because we're not moral. We're not moral people. Anybody that doesn't believe that our society, whatever society that may be, whatever country, whatever language, is immoral, is pretty much out of their mind. People know that people do things. Well, why do people get angry? Because it's a legitimate emotion. 
a legitimate expression of the way things are. People say, the guy I get angry by, I don't believe in immorality. It's real. And God is real. It's a delusion to get the wrong idea about God and think that he's out to send everybody to hell, that that's his objective. When we know, hopefully, you know, we know that God is, <clears throat> God's objective is to do the exact opposite. And we've got all these people, all they can speak about all day long is you're going to hell and you're, you know, I met somebody else on the internet and he gets, he's gotten that, you know, people telling him he's going to go to hell and it makes me angry and they don't know God and that's the God delusion or that we think that we don't have any responsibility and that God is not there to do what's right and that he doesn't exist, the God delusion.